our universe is 13.7 billion years old. But it was all dark in the beginning and then in an instant an explosion. We call it the Big Bang, the moment our universe came to life. However, for the first 4 lakh years after the Big Bang, there was no light. Science terms this period as the Dark Ages. During these first few million years, the universe was just empty. There were no planets, no stars, no galaxies. And then first light flickered. But what happened during those Dark Ages? And how did the first light emerge in the immense blackness of space? Scientists have a plan to find out. And they are betting their luck on the moon. My name is Shibhu Tripathi and this is The Universe This Week. Scientists at America's Brookhaven National Laboratory are working on a telescope that will try to find evidence of the Dark Ages among the lights of the current stars and galaxies in the universe. However, this telescope won't operate on Earth. It will have to be sent to our nearest neighbor, the Moon. But why the Moon? Well, simply speaking, because it has no atmosphere. The telescope named Lunar Surface Electromagnetics Experiment Night or Lucy Night will try to pick up radio waves that continue to linger in the vacuum of space since those dark ages. It's a point in time that scientists have never been able to observe. Picking up these waves on Earth is difficult due to interference. These mask these delicate signals. Moon, on the other hand, does not have an atmosphere, making it a perfect location for a radio telescope to capture these signals. But then there is a bigger challenge. The telescope will have to be sent to the far side of the Moon, the side which is not visible from Earth. Since Moon is tidally locked to our planet, we see just one side all the time, making the far side extremely challenging to operate on. The good thing, however, is that the far side, shielded from many sources of radio interference, makes it a perfect location for the telescope. This region is called the dark side of the Moon since it remains in total darkness for 14 Earth days and then brutally lit for the next 14, making it a treacherous place to work on. Since it's a vacuum environment, it makes removing heat difficult and the heavy radiation from the sun can easily damage instruments. Scientists will need to ensure that the telescope must reject heat in the vacuum environment during the day and keep itself from freezing at night, all while powering itself through 14 days of continuous darkness and conducting first of its kind science. The telescope will also have to be powered by a battery, a battery that could fit mission requirements. More powerful batteries are heavier and a flight mission to moon has a strict mass and size limit. Once the lander carrying the telescope touches the lunar surface, it will have to be shut down permanently so that it does not produce any interference. That's when the first challenge will hit, surviving that first cold night on dark side of the moon. The far side of the moon experiences temperature of 127 degrees Celsius during day and it drops to minus 183 degrees Celsius during the night. Now how will this telescope work? The telescope will work like an FM radio picking up radio signals in a similar frequency band. A spectrometer will then separate out radio frequencies and turn signals into spectra, giving new insights to the science team to work with. At home on Earth, scientists will have to patiently wait 40 days for the telescope to collect and transmit its data to Earth. Until then, they won't know if Lucy Knight survived that first night on the Moon. You must be then wondering, why go through all this trouble to study a period of time that was just dark? Scientists believe that modeling the universe will be easier before stars form. They can calculate almost everything exactly and so far they have been able to make predictions about earlier stages of the universe using a benchmark called the Cosmic Microwave Background. The Dark Ages signal would provide a new benchmark and if predictions based on each benchmark don't match, what that means is there will be a new physics. The radio signals could also help uncover answers to some of the universe's biggest mysteries, such as the nature of dark energy or the formation of the universe itself. While the telescope is a few years away, if successful, it could truly uncover the secrets hiding in the darkness when the universe was yet to see the first lights. Astronomers have been amazed by the work of James Webb Space Telescope, which observes the universe in near-infrared wavelength. It has been designed to see the first moments after the Big Bang and to go back in time to see the origin of our universe. When the data of these two telescopes will be combined, science is bound to change and we will be right here to tell you all about it. For now, this is all in this episode of The Universe This Week. Like, share and subscribe to India Today for more such science videos and follow me on Twitter for daily science coverage.